Hey guys, it's me from the future. Spoilers, I'm a complete badass now. I just wanted to take a moment and to say thanks to everyone that's subscribed to the channel so far. It does mean a lot to me because, as you can see, I'm quite a small channel at the moment. I don't even have 100 subscribers, so every subscription counts. And every time someone subscribes to me, it means a lot. It's It really boosts my channel up. At the time of recording, I have 90 subscribers, which you might think that's that's nothing, but you know, I started with 62, and to have almost 30 subscribers just from one video is crazy for me. It's it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I've uploaded videos in the past, and they've had nowhere near as much support as this. So, thank you so much. I also wanted to uh, take a moment and let you all know that I've set up a clan chat because with more videos there's going to be more people coming in and if any of you want to hang out and talk to me or talk to each other then you can join my clan chat it's really easy you just click on clan chat here join chat and then type in my name Ardy Chunky and there you go it's just me at the moment so please come in and show me some company alright I'll stop bothering you guys now enjoy the rest of the episode pew 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 Inuks Productions. Pew, pew, pew. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to episode two of this Chunk Lot Iron Man series. I'm currently in Ardun sewers, just killing some rats, getting my melee stats up a little bit, so then I can go in here and kill some zombies for their runes and to train my magic up. It's the magic part I'm worried about because I have to uh, rely on monster drops for all the runes. So I might get unlucky there, I'm not sure yet, but at least I can pickpocket a guaranteed 2 chaos runes every time from the paladins. And I also have to have to manually click on the spell, click on the monster, click on the spell, click on the monster. And then after I've got my woodcut and fletcher levels, we can choose a new chunk. Hopefully I can look into that chunk on this episode. I'm not sure how long the magic grind's gonna take me to be honest. It's only level 62, so it should be nowhere near as long as Peeving. So we might see a little bit of action in the new chunk. We'll just have to wait and see. Hey, 125 total level. So I've just got the first ever clue skull scroll, scroll drop. And the chances of doing it are next to nothing. Yep, yeah, can't do that. Hey, 150 total level. I just got the beekeeper's top from a random event, from the beekeeper's random event, obviously. And I got so excited because it says magic plus 30 attack bonus. But that's <laughs> because I'm wearing this black plate body, which puts my magic attack bonus down by 30. So look here, uh, magic plus zero, I put this minus 30. <laughs> what happens if I suck these bubbles? I can't reach it. <laughs> That's really uneventful. I just got another beekeepers event, like a few kills after the last one, and I got the hat. So now I can put on almost the full outfit. Look at me, I look beautiful. Look at that. I'm just gonna put my black plate body, and this is the look I'm gonna be rocking for a long time. Quite an intimidating look. I'm surprised the rats still gonna fight me. All right, so I finally got. 20 in all of my combat skills, my melee skills. So now I can move on to the zombies and start grinding my combat skills up on these while collecting mine runes and air runes at the same time. Up until I'm level 17 magic. And I can also get an iron axe to start wood cutting. I think I'll just, as soon as I get an iron axe, I'll just go quickly get my wood cutting up and get my fletching up. Unfortunately, I can't train fire making at the moment because I don't have a tinderbox. There is one thing that I forgot to do in episode 1 and that is to drop all the items I got from Tutorial Island because this is chunk locked so obviously I can't use the items I got from uh, Tutorial Island because I feel that will just be cheating. The whole point of this account is to um, only use what I can within the chunks. So I'm just gonna go and drop all them and then go to the zombies. So I've just come across the first big problem of the account. You see how all these zombies here are holding swords? 
that's a problem. Now you might be thinking, why is that a problem? But just just kill them, what, what does it matter? According to the wiki, there is a difference between armed zombies and unarmed zombies. And unfortunately, the armed zombies do not drop mind runes. They also do not drop axes, which means I can't train my woodcutting, or my fletching, or my fire making. The armed zombies do drop tinder boxes, but without any logs to burn, I can't burn them, obviously. I can't train my fire making. So, uh, what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to move a few of these skills down here and just do them later when I get access to mind runes and an axe. But I can still kill a hero, blood run from a hero, I can still do that, I can also get them from paladins. Uh, yeah, I can still kill a hero, which means I'm gonna have to train my melee stats up anyway. I just can't do it with magic because there's no way for me to train magic. Uh, also, the paladins drop seal longswords, which is the best in slot melee weapon for me in this chunk. And they drop steel full helms, one in one to eight, I believe. So, though, so I do actually have a little bit of a grind on my hands still in this chunk. It just means that we're going to be spending less time here. I'm going to kill these for about an hour just to make sure they don't drop mind runes. Or axes and then uh, if they don't I'll just continue training here and then on the guards in Market Square until I can kill the paladins. I forgot my cakes so I just got a drop of seven fishing bait which confirms that these are indeed armed zombies and they have the armed zombie drop uh, drop table but armed zombies do drop bronze kite shields so I have to uh, I have to kill these anyway until I get a bronze kite shield because that is my best in slot shield hey bronze kite shield that didn't take me like, that long uh, it says here 48 but I did log out before then and that was about 20 so about 70 kills so I'm, I'm well below the drop rate so now I can uh, I can move on to the guards up in our dune market although actually I think I'll stay here because these are easy to kill than the guards it's just starting to get a bit ridiculous now I've got another kite shield drop and I've only killed 87 of them. I was wrong about before, but, uh, logging out doesn't remove the kill counter, that's only if you close a client and I haven't closed a client. So basically I've only killed 87 zombies and I'm still below the drop rate of a bronze kite shield and I've got two. I'm hoping I have this much luck for future drops because that would make this so much faster. The evil cat kidnapped me to go fishing again, so let's see what I get now. From level 13 to 15, not bad, not bad at all. What is going on? I got another beekeeper event. I think at this rate I'm gonna have the full beekeeping outfit before I kill a before I kill one of the heroes. If this zombie would let me, that would be nice. Ah, oh, I only got some flax, but at the rate at which I get this event, I'll uh, I should have it in no time. I finally ran out of all the food that I stole from the beginning of my thieving grind so now I've had to come back to my friend Mr. Baker here and just steal all his hard work again. This makes me so happy that I grinded my thieving up to level 80 first. <laughs> this guy just started telling me that I'm gonna win and uh, I think it's because of the way I'm dressed that he thinks I'm gonna win the game. Are you kidding me? Another evil Bob event. He wants to take me fishing once again. I'm going to be 90 to 9 fishing before I get out of this chunk. And let's see what we get. From 15 to 17, not bad. Another bronze cat shield. I don't know what to say at this point. So I just got a chaos talisman and I didn't think to record it because I didn't think it was anything special. But I looked it up and it's about a 1 in 5,000 drop. Why can't they give me something useful like a rune spear? I'm going to train my stats here till about 40 in all my melee combat stats. And then I'm going to start killing some guards in the market square because they drop a lot of farming seeds and I'm going to need them for when I unlock some farming chunks. Hey, tinderbox. I keep getting this silly prison random event so when I do finally unlock these chunks that's why I've already unlocked the music tracks. You have got to be kidding me. This is the, I believe, the fifth bronze kite shield. I've got Three on a log here, I've got one on the bank, I'm wearing one, and I've killed about 256 zombies, so I would say I'm about 
two and a half times over the drop rate with these. I can only hope for such luck with the uh, with the paladins because they are substantially harder to kill than the zombies and they have two one in one two eight drops that I need to get before I can move on to the next chunk. I was so convinced for a second there that this was yet another fishing event, but it's just the prison, unfortunately. You don't have anything in your inventory to store the bubbles fumes. I could use my mouth. A hey, 275 total level. I'm beginning to think bronze kite shields are not one in one to eight. You've been playing for a while. Consider taking a break from your screen. How about no? Oh, finally got the quiz master event, which is really good because the uh, the possible rewards are a thousand coins or the mystery box. So obviously I go for the mystery box, which has a one in fifteen chance of giving mythical skimmeter, which would be so good because training with an iron mace is so slow. You have no idea. And I got a cabbage. A, the first medium clue score of the account. Can I do it? No, I cannot. Goodbye. I just got some watermelon seeds, which are about 1 in 600 drop, which is good for farming, but I need the snapdragon seeds, because as soon as I unlock farming plot, I'm going to have to farm these for the snapdragon seed, which is 1 in 900. I was playing on my phone, so I couldn't record anything at a time, but uh. I moved to the guards and leveled up all my stats to 40. I also got a blood rune drop, which is really good because now um, all I need to do is find a source for mine runes and then I can just level up all the way to 62. I just tried killing one of the paladins and it just was not working. They weren't really hitting me much so I can survive against them fairly well but I also wasn't hitting them very much. They also have about three times as much XP as the guards obviously because the 42 levels higher so I think I'm just gonna have to stay here and train my skills to 50 on these guards god forbid oh that's gonna take so long I really need uh, I really need a weapon that's better than iron because this is just so slow and the game's kind of mocking me because there is a black skimmeter in the Ardun castle but obviously that's blocked off at the moment just finishing up the achievements by selling this piece of silk here. And there we have it. All the achievements are complete. I'm just going to take one quick look at it to make sure I can't do anything else here. Yeah, no, I can't do anything else here. Fishing again. Seriously. So we go from 17 to 18. We've only 63 left until 19. It's starting to take at least an hour per level now, so it's going to be a while before I can kill the paladins. And then I have to kill them until I get both the steel full helm and the steel longsword. A 300 total level. Just robbed a few more graves, let's see what I get this time. Hey, I got the zombie mask. Let's go, um, let's go put the rest of the pieces on and see what I look like. So I was just playing on mobile for a bit and I managed to get the snake grass seed drop which is great because now I don't have to grind these guards when I unlock farming in a later chunk. Just got the quiz master random event. I'm going to put that straight into Hunter. Let's see what I get. 45. Alright, so it's come to my attention from the comments in the first video that the good news is I don't have to do the drainer agility course if I unlock it because my agility is still level 1 which means that I don't have to do it unless I somehow accidentally get level 10 but I want to avoid that as much as possible because I would rather have no run energy than have to grind this stupid rooftop all the way to 90. But the bad news is that if I unlock this which is at level which is level 1 I would have to grind up to level 90. Maybe uh, I think if I unlock it I'll have to just do the maths and see if to see if it's plausible because you know I don't want to have to wait half a year between a video I mean what's the point that's just defeats the whole point of making a series out of this so uh, we'll see when we get there if we get there hopefully not alright I got 50 now in attack and strength I'm gonna leave off defense for now because this is just taking too long it's about an hour per level and I honestly didn't think it would take this long just to uh, 
get to level 50. It's because it's there's three skills and I'm only using a nine dagger and an iron mace. So I'm gonna go pick up my dagger, steal some more cakes, and then try to kill the paladins. If it doesn't go well, then I'm gonna have to train my defense to 50 and then try again. And if it still doesn't go well, I'm just gonna have to level my attack and strength to 55 and see how it goes then. Even if I can kill them inefficiently, a steel sword drop right off the bat would be nice because that would speed things up considerably given that it's two to three times better than the iron dagger and that's about a one in 64 drop chance yeah no this is just impossible I hit a four as I say that of course but I'm just eating so much food and I'm hardly ever hitting him and he hits me for up to eight and then I just have to spam click this because it only heals four for four per food tick and it's just, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him before my inventory is finished, but I'm going to give it a go, just for the sake of trying. So, in the end, I did actually manage to kill him, but I only got some coins. I think the best thing to do right now is to just train my attack and strength up a little, up a little bit. I don't think it's worth to do defense, because, you know, the faster I can kill him, the less food I'll use, obviously. Because that's the way it works. And I can always just steal from here, but right now... I really don't fancy like stealing a whole inventor's worth of cake between every single kill. So I'm just going to train these up a few levels and then try again. Hey, another B event, let's see what I get this time. I'm hoping for another costume piece, just because I want the full piece before I leave this chunk. There's no reason for it, I just, I've got so many pieces already, I just want the whole thing. Ah, oh, come on, flax again? I guess that's a good thing because if I unlock Witch Haven, which does have a spinning wheel, it's gonna help me towards leveling up my crafting to to level 20 because that's when I can start cutting sapphires which I can steal from the crafting store so basically it just unlocks another grind for me 2 million thieving XP so I got fed up of killing the guards constantly I've killed so many I mean I've almost killed 500 just today so what I'm doing is I'm fighting a paladin I'm killing one paladin looting it if it's decent and then I'm stealing from the cake stall right where the guards can attack me and if a guard gets, gets my attention like that then I'll just kill the guard until I'm full inventory and then um, I'll just keep doing that until I'm full inventory and then I'll kill a paladin and rinse and repeat and hopefully it won't be long before I get a, a better weapon which will speed things up considerably <laughs> no way I just got the steel sword which is a 1 in 64 and it took 12 kills. I'm going to pick it up quickly before I drop it. This is amazing. Look at that at that difference. Stab plus 7 slash plus, plus 10. I know it's got less crush but with that much of an upgrade. This will surely be better than the Iron Mace and especially better than the Iron Dagger. Let's just compare. Yeah look at that. It's, it's so much better. This is going to make things so much faster plus eight melee strength oh mate oh i'm so happy right now a six toad flax from the prison p event we once again have the fishing event this is crazy but at the end of the day i'm really happy that i keep getting this it just means that once i get a chunk with uh, i don't know a salmon fishing spot then i'll be able to fish that spot basically I don't have to keep using cakes all the time because cakes are just really bad, are a really bad food source. Healing only four per food tick or however it works, it's it makes combat really difficult. All right, let's see what I got. I got level 20, brilliant. I can now fish trout from salmon fishing spots. So I bit the bullet and I got my defense from 45 to 50 because. They were just hitting me too much but saying that it doesn't really seem to have made much difference because I'm still eating just as much food as I was at 45 defense but now I think I'm just gonna concentrate on killing these until I get either a steel longsword hopefully I get that first and the steel full helm although to be fair I think Either first is good because the steel full helm will give me much more defense against these guys, but the steel longsword will let me kill them faster. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna steal cakes and kill these guys, and I'll be back when I get a drop. 
<laughs> oh no, not a duplicate. Uh, I got so excited then. But it's just another steel sword. Yes, get in. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. I was really hoping I get this before the full helm because now it's going to be even quicker. Are you kidding me? Not like, I don't know, five kills later, I get another steel longsword. I mean, in fairness, I'm like, what, 30, 40 kills under the drop rate? So I can't really complain. Yes, I can't believe it. I just got the steel full helm drop. It was under the drop rate as well. I literally just complained to my friend while killing that paladin that it's been three days of me killing them and I wasn't getting the drop that I needed and that I just got the drop as soon as I killed it. For all those that are wondering, this is the best in slot for the RD Market chunk. Alright, now that I'm basically an unstoppable killing machine and I'm stocked up on cakes, let's kill the hero. I did see that he has a lot more attack stat than the paladins do so I think it's gonna hit me a lot more often so far so good but I'm not exactly hitting him for a lot either I feel like I should be playing some epic boss music in the background here ooh he hits nines alright yeah he's a lot easier than I thought he's pretty simple I pretty much just got this in the bag and he is dead luckily he dropped nothing so I don't have to farm him until I get, until I get a certain drop Let's go on my notes and move them. And that is the chunk complete. I can now finally choose a new chunk. Unless I'm missing something, I don't think I am. I can't do any of these because I do not have an axe to chop trees down with. And before I choose a new chunk, first I'm going to show you guys the loot I got from all those guards and all the zombies. Alright, this is all of it almost, just without the runes. It's around 237,000 which is alright but <laughs> from a from a making money standpoint it's it's really bad I don't know how many hours I've spent here but I'm pretty sure it's a lot longer than the thieving grind I actually kind of regret not training on the zombies more because they give a lot of herbs which will be very useful once I get druidic ritual complete but that's so far in the future that I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more herbs by then anyway. These are all the runes I got, it's not many but when I when I do come round to training magic at least I'll have a bit of a head start. I've got all these gems as well from random events and whatnot, which will give me a little bit of a head start when I start crafting but not much. I got over a thousand iron bolts which will be useful when training range. I believe they're like level 26 to wield or something and they also need a crossbow. but still useful nonetheless. I got 58 flax which will also help me with crafting if I unlock witch haven. I got 8 bronze kite shields. Um, they're supposed to be 1 in 1 to 8 drop but I only killed like around 600 zombies maybe and I didn't even get any in the last 100 so I got 8 in 500 which is way under the drop rate. I was so lucky there. I was actually kind of lucky with the steel longswords and the steel full helm as well because the first day I killed 31 paladins because I killed one after I finished recording. The second day, I can't remember, I think it was like 55 or something and today it's literally just two paladins. So that's not even, that's not even 100 paladins and I got three 1 in 1 to 8 drops. So I count myself extremely lucky there, thankfully, otherwise I would have been here much, much longer. Alright, let's go to, let's just die first of all, go to Lumbridge, and then see how long this took me. God, it's so much harder to die now that I've got higher stats. Alright, it actually took a while, but I died. And here's Hans, let's see how long that took. 5 days, 19, okay, maybe nowhere near as long as the thieving, I don't think. Let's just calculate this. It was 67 hours on the thieving grind. That took me 53 hours almost to do that. Not quite as much as uh, 67, but still slow nonetheless to say that I only had to go for level 50 stats. 
Alright, and I will see you guys on the map selection screen. I'm quite excited now because I'm really, really eager to move on to a new place. Just so you're aware, I did just teleport here in the mini games. Uh, teleport, my friend let me know that you can actually teleport here and just run straight up to Ardoon, which would have saved me so much time in the past. But yeah, that's why these music tracks are now unlocked. So I'm not cheating anyway, I'm just literally running through here to get back to my chunks. Alright, we are finally on the map again. Don't mind the black space at the bottom, that's just because I want to hide the top of my web browser. So I'm just going to go briefly over each chunk quickly because I know you guys don't want to listen to me talking for half an hour. Uh, this chunk unlocks Puro Puro, but I don't have to go there until I'm 17 Hunter also unlocks farming. Now I'm going to make an exception for farming, otherwise I'm just going to be stood around for hours doing nothing for hours and hours on end. Uh, basically if I unlock this I have to actively train my farming in the background to level 62 because that's what level the, I need to plant the snake grass seed. Um, East Ardoon, now that unlocks a horrible horrible grind unless I'm missing something because I can steal a raw shark from a chest in the castle somewhere uh, I'm not really sure where this chest is but still it unlocks a huge cooking grind because the only thing I have to cook is rat meat and I worked it out it's around 45,000 pieces of meat to cook and that's not including the ones that I burn but I'm sure I won't burn them for very long anyway it also unlocks a lot of quests and altar Unfortunately, it doesn't unlock this bank, but at least I'll still have a bank over here. Please let me know if I'm missing anything, because I would like a much easier way to train my cooking up to level 76 so I can cook that shark. Uh, Witch Haven is nice because it unlocks a fishing shop and a spinning wheel for my flax. I've also, I've also got the dungeon. I'm not sure if I can do anything in there unless I'm doing the quest. I'm not sure if I can even do the quest fully. I don't know. I'm not really doing much research. I want everything to be new and exciting. Um, I can't fix the boat. I had a look. I need swamp tar and obviously I can't get that right now because it's in Canifis and Lumbridge Swamp. Anywhere the fishing platform is a bit useless to me unless I need it for a quest. Uh, number five, I've got the Tower of Life. And the quest. I'm not really sure what is there. I'll leave that for if I unlock a chunk. This unlocks uh, a shop with which actually unlocks items needed for other grinds such as a pineapple and stuff but it doesn't unlock any grinds just yet if I just unlock this chunk because even if I get the pineapple I can't make the pizza bases without cheese and tomatoes to then add the pineapple to the pizza base so I wouldn't have to grind cooking anyway although level 65 cooking is a lot easier than level 76 when you're having to rely on rat meat. Uh, it also unlocks charter ships which will unlock more chunks and it also brings me closer to the agility arena which I'm hoping I get before the gnome stronghold that will be super duper nice and this one also unlocks charter ships and melts as maze I'm not sure if I can use that or not I'd I do want to reiterate that I don't really do much research into this, I want everything to be new and surprising to me, so I don't... It's not it's not as exciting if I know what to expect, if you know what I mean. It also unlocks a farming plot, I'm not sure which one it is, and the yew tree, which I can't get yet because I don't have an axe. I don't think I can get an axe here, but we'll see. Like I said, I don't really know much about each chunk. Alright, and with all that being said, let me pick the first chunk. Alright, so as you saw, I unlocked the Remington chunk. Well, not quite Remington, but the Remington Harbour, Port, whatever, Pier, whatever you want to call it. It's actually quite exciting because it gives me a farming patch. That's not the exciting part, but it gives me a farming patch. I don't think I can... I don't think I can plant any bushes. It unlocks Meltzar's maze. I'm not sure if I can go in there. I'm not sure if that's a quest or not. Yeah, and it unlocks Charter... Oh, no, no. It unlocks Corsair Cove. I have no idea what Corsair Cove is because 
I come from RuneScape 3, and I think Corsair Cove is new. Ah, uh, no, that's not new. But it does bring me to a completely new section of the land, which is really exciting. And I really don't know what to expect here. On RuneScape 3, this is full of friendly ogres. But it doesn't seem like there is anything here except for a bank. And next to it, there is a dungeon, but... Even if I do unlock this chunk, I would have to unlock the chunk next to it. So things are starting to get really interesting actually, because after I finish this chunk here, which I'm not sure there is anything to do here. I'm going to have to take a look, but I really don't think there is anything to do. Maybe there's a shop here that I can have a look at. Maybe there's item spawns here that will give me a grind. I don't know. We'll have to find out in the next episode. Alright, thank you so much for watching guys, if you like this video please leave a like, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with it, and here is a picture of my cat.